thermodynamic processes. The physical quantities which are used to specify the state of a system are called the thermodynamic coordinates. Pressure, temperature and volume are examples of thermodynamic coordinates. Whenever there is a change in the thermodynamic state of a system, we say that the system has undergone a process. The changes taking place inside the pressure cooker and the heat engines are examples of thermodynamic processes. Did you know that a thermodynamic process is taking place inside the body of the African Bombardier Beetle when it emits a jet of defensive spray from the movable tip of its abdomen? The different types of thermodynamic processes are isothermal process, adiabatic process, isochoric process and isobaric process. Isothermal process Isothermal process is a physical change in which pressure and volume of a system change at constant temperature, melting at constant pressure. During melting, the temperature remains constant, but there is an increase in internal energy due to change of phase from solid to liquid. Boiling at constant pressure. During boiling, the temperature remains constant. Here, there is an increase in internal energy due to the change of phase from liquid to vapor state. Isothermal process is slow. There is exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings. If the system is enclosed in a cylinder having conducting walls, when the system expands, heat is absorbed. When it is compressed, heat is rejected. In an isothermal process, in general, none of the quantities delta Q, delta W or delta U is zero where Q is the heat energy, W is the work done, and U is the internal energy. Equation for isothermal For an isothermal process, T is constant. So, PV is equal to a constant. The variation of P with V is as shown here. Adiabatic process. Adiabatic process is a physical change in which the pressure, volume and temperature change. Examples for adiabatic processes are the sudden explosion, bursting of a bus tire and the compression stroke in an internal combustion engine. There is no exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings. So delta Q is equal to zero. Heat can be prevented from entering or leaving the system by performing the process quickly. The flow of heat requires a certain time. So any process performed suddenly will be adiabatic. To prevent the heat flow, the system is perfectly insulated from the surroundings by using non-conductors of heat like asbestos and cork. During expansion, work is done by the system and hence it gets cooled. During compression, work is done on the system and hence it gets heated up. Equation for adiabatic process is PV raised to gamma is equal to a constant, where gamma is the ratio of the two specific heat capacities of the gas. During this process, no heat enters or leaves the system, so delta Q is equal to zero. Substituting the value of delta Q in Delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W. Zero is equal to delta U plus delta W. Therefore, delta W is equal to minus delta U. This means for doing work, internal energy is used. Negative sign shows that when work is done by the system, its internal energy decreases.